Hey Code Crew, it's Chris here. So I have a dilemma. I am running out of hard drive space. As you can see here, my hard disk is 250 gigs. I've got 11 gigs left. So that means about 237 gigs are taken up. So I have this tool called Grand Perspective and it lets you visualize what's on your hard drive. Now this tool isn't free. It's You can get it from the uh, Mac App Store for about $10, I think. Um, however, there might be other free tools that do this, and this is not even very necessary, but I just wanted to walk through visually what is taking up the space. And then we're going to go through and delete all of the unnecessary Xcode files and outdated files, old files that are no longer needed. And we're going to see how much hard drive space we can actually save. So the Xcode app itself is about 15 gigs, as you can see here. These are all just different applications. But if you take a look at uh, this part, Xcode derived data, uh, this is eight gigs. Moving on to the left, this is Xcode user data, that's 12 gigs. This is Xcode iOS device support, eight gigs. This is Xcode archives, four gigs. This is watchOS support, and that's, that's kind of small. But this big chunk right here, core simulator devices, again, is related to Xcode. This is a whopping 37 gigs. Uh, down here, core simulator caches, 10 gigs, and the rest of the rest of this stuff is just like old Zoom calls and stuff. But you can see, I, I would say about half the hard drive is taken up by Xcode related stuff. So let's dive in and let's take a look at what we don't need and free up a ton of hard drive space. I'm going to show you exactly what folders you can get rid of and you tell me how much hard drive space you're going to save. The longer you've used Xcode, the more hard drive space you're going to save. All right, let's take a look. So while I was looking for a solution to figure out what folders I can delete, I came across this blog article, which uh, was really helpful. So we are going to follow this list here and we're going to attack these folders and see systematically how much space we can save. So if any of these folders that it's pointing to, you can't find it or you can't see it, it might be hidden. So there it's really easy to show hidden files, command shift plus uh, full stop or period. Uh, and that will toggle on hidden files or toggle them off. All right, so let's go for the first one right here. Uh, it's going to be in your hard drive, your users, your own personal folder, and then library, and then developer. And that's where you're going to find the majority of all of this Xcode simulator stuff. So the first folder is Core Simulator Devices. So each time you open up the simulator and you restore, um, you re erase all settings and content, you're essentially spinning up a different uh, device. So each of those has its own sort of ID. And over the years, as we can see, if I go into this Devices folder and I take a look at the dates on these, it goes back all the way to 2015. And this folder itself, let's see how much space I would be saving here. Uh, it's calculating the size, but essentially I'm gonna get rid of all of it. Okay, there are so many folders in this devices folder that it's taking forever to calculate the size. So I'm gonna pull up my grand perspective again. And this is that folder. If you can see that um, path down there, core simulator slash devices, this is, 37 gigs. Okay, so that's what I'm going to blow away right now. Delete, and it's going to go into the trash, and I'm going to empty it. Ah, there, 34 gigs. All right, so that's gone. That's awesome. Okay, and I know it says you can run a terminal here, but I, I basically got rid of everything. So the next time I start the iOS simulator in Xcode, it's going to be a fresh device, and it's going to create one folder. Um, okay, so you, I guess you periodically have to go in and clear this out. Okay, the next one is Xcode device support. So let's go into Xcode device support. And I don't have any old uh, iOS versions here. If you do have ones that you don't use anymore, if you've been using Xcode for a long time, you'll have those and you can get rid of them if you don't plan on you know testing with them or anything like that. So I've just got these two newer ones, iOS 14s. So we'll leave that. And let's go into here now, Core Simulator Cache. Right here, let's see how big this folder is. Okay, this one's about 10 gigs. 
pretty respectable. And it says just delete each directory. So I'm going to go inside and delete that one right there. It says, you know, delete all the subfolders within this DYLD. I don't even know what that stands for, but there goes 10 gigs either way. Okay, Xcode derived data. So this one is actually uh, gets cleared out pretty often, I would think. This one's 1.26 gigs, so it's not too much. Whenever Xcode is, you know, something isn't working with Xcode, or, you know, you don't have autocomplete, it's not picking up, or you're getting build errors when you know there shouldn't be, one of the most common pieces of advice you'll hear is to delete derived data and restart Xcode. So what's inside this derived data folder? Uh, if you want a detailed read, I'll link to this article below, but essentially it's a bunch of log files, bunch of cache, bunch of index files. You know, when you uh, look, first load your project and at the top status bar Xcode says, uh, we're indexing all the files in your project. Well, that's, that's what it's writing to. So you can safely delete all of these uh, folders uh, even if it's for a project you're currently working on, because as soon as you launch that project, it's going to regenerate this folder for you. So there goes that 1.26 gigs saved. And here, Xcode archives, next one. Xcode archives. So these are the archives that you create, um, you know, right before you submit your app or you're building an archive for another purpose. And if these are old and you don't need them, you can go ahead and delete them. So how much space am I saving here? All right, almost five gigs. There goes that. And log files, device logs. So I think these are the log files when you plug in like your actual devices. And oftentimes you'll see it's downloading uh, device logs and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's where this goes, iOS device logs. Okay, so let's see how much space I'm saving. Oh, this one's not much at all. 57 megs. Okay, actually these files, um, let me just undo that for a second. You see these files .db, .db .shm, .db .wal. I noticed a bunch of those files here outside this folder to developer portal. Right, so I guess these are just log files as well. Um, they don't say in this blog article to delete those, you know, so let me delete these device logs first. Um, I don't know if I can delete these, but if you look at some of these files, 2015, they haven't been modified. So I think I can safely delete them. Even these ones, 2017, I'm going to just go ahead and delete those. If something bad happens, you'll let, uh, I'll let you know and I'll amend this video, but those seem like just log files to me. So I got rid of them. Okay. And that does it for this, um, this blog article right here. However, I noticed that there is another part, which is taking up a lot of space. So if I take a look at this, this, uh, file right here, the, uh, developer slash slash X C P G devices. So let me just open up this folder, right? This folder right here, um, not devices, but XCPG devices. If I, you know, there are a lot of folders in this folder, so it'll probably take a while to calculate the size. But if I take a look at this, is this 2.261 gigs? But this is the same folder all here, let me just expand the focus. Yeah, so this entire folder is seven gigs, developer slash XCPG devices. And I, yeah, eight gigs. And I don't know if I can delete this because it wasn't listed in this article. So I just Googled it and I found this other article, which seems to be a little more thorough. There seems to be a lot more things that it lists that you can delete, but it's also chock full of ads. Um, so I don't know if I'll link to this, this article, but, um, it does list developer X CPG devices and it's saying these are playground project 
cache files. So that makes sense. XC probably stands for Xcode. PG stands for playground and devices are just, uh, you know, every time you open a new playground and uh, when you run the code, it says it's starting the simulator. I think probably behind the scenes, what it's doing is it's spinning up a new device. Um, so then this is where it's creating those, uh, those files. Now that's just a guess. Uh, where was that again? Library developer. Oh, I'm inside the Xcode folder. Okay. Here it is. XCPG devices. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I can delete that file though. Um, so I'm going to delete the folders because I know these, these IDs right here, these are device IDs. I don't know if I can get rid of that file. So I'm just going to get rid of the folders. I'm sure that will be regenerated. Actually, if I take a look at the date, you can see some of them are pretty old as well, 2015. So I'll delete all of those. And now let us empty the trash can and see how much space we save. So here it is again, um, 237 gigs taken up. Let's empty the trash. And this might take a while. All right, so it's finally done. It got rid of something like 600,000 files and I had about 10 gigs left over. So it looks like I saved about 63 gigs off of my hard drive. That is pretty substantial if I have to say. Now, actually, let's launch Xcode, make sure it still launches and make sure everything still works. Okay, so um, why don't we give that a try? So actually now when I build it, it's going to be launching a brand new simulator. It's going to cre be creating a new device because I deleted all of them. So take a look here. Uh, you can see inside derived data, see it's created a new folder for this project. So it's okay to delete everything in there, but also inside core simulator inside devices, you can see that this is being spun up. Now, this is my new simulator device that it is in the process of launching and creating. Uh, there it is. Um, okay, that's not good. So let me take a look here. Uh, you know what? Let me try to close this, relaunch it. I might actually have to reboot my system first. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to clean the build folder. Let's try that again. And if this fails, um, I'm going to reboot the system and see what happens. Okay. Actually this time it is working. So, uh, let's see, did I create this a different one? No, this is the same one. So I don't know what happened there, but everything looks okay so far. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you tried this, let me know how much hard drive space you saved by leaving a quick comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.